So here we are, just outside of Boston. I think that's Boston. Yeah, it looks like Boston. Just up the little road a little bit. I brought McCrat McCready with me with his goofy ass outfit. Made him look like a fucking chode. Anyway, here we are. Just outside Boston at What's this? A strange cave. Vault 81? Gasp. Could it be? Have not been through this load screen yet, so. This is all new and probably full of hostels. I spent my childhood living right next to a vault. Those are some seriously bad memories I wish I could forget. Thanks, dude. Keeping me on my toes. Wow. Weird how they made this animation. That's a lot more work than most things in this game. How does your character even know to do Hold it that? Right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. What the fuck? This one's still an operating vault? Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Hey, lady. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. Oh, I have tons of those. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. Done. I happen to have exactly what you need. Really? Well then, by all means, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. This is weird. Just do the best with what you can. Another outsider. That's all I'm asking. Fine. What they let you I'll in what for. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Up like him. Crime and good neighbor has a new enemy, it seems. Why would someone I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. So I guess if you're out there and thinking about breaking the vault, you might want to consider steering clear of good neighbor. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I mean, I'll be in my office. Hmm. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. What's up? You impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. 
<laughs> Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. I can't imagine how difficult it must have been out there. Well, at least I wasn't alone. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Oh. I there when I was around 16. I had no idea. I had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, That's actually really interesting. Left. I know, I'm sure you crazy, remember the Little Lamplight in Fallout 3. Was something we couldn't trust. That sounds ridiculous. Maybe, but kept the colony alive for a couple hundred years. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. I made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. <laughs> this guy's got a lot more character to him than I thought. So there you have I think he was supposedly in the other games. That's an interesting story. Interesting or not, I felt like you deserved to know who you were traveling with. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean. I know I tend to be arrogant, and I come off like I want to be alone. Nothing can be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Nice. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some real things. So anyway, I wonder what the twist is with this fault. Uh, okay. No signs of radiation. Impressive. <laughs> hey, Ashes. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these Ashes, days. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Karen's not going to like this. Just want the Vault 81 suit to go with my collection. Ah! Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Okay, bye. Oh, hello there. You made it. Hey. I'll take that bandana off. Want? Yeah, sure. I'll trade with you. I forgot I gave him so many things to use. Right. I remember now. It's his hat. Normal hat. Eh, fuck it. I still think it's hideous. Oh, I forgot he had a weird, kind of creepy goatee. Feels nice with his dress. Hey, mister. Are you really from the Commonwealth? Kinda. Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. Water with no radiation. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. 
But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Ooh, Mrs. Combs ooh, doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet he killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and Raiders. I bet he fought Raiders too. Hit that guy. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to. Hey, right now, what are you doing? You're gonna miss the best part. <gasps> I need your help here. What? Hey, Austin. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. All right, I guess I failed that. <laughs> Dr. Whatever. I don't need his damn tour. He's just slowing me down. There's all this crap. Jeez, it's pretty bad in there. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. Excuse me. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon it's the clutter, I don't have much time to tidy up these days. Must be keeping busy then. At least business is good. Too good these days. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. But do you have... Oh, what the hell is that? Neat. Please. Where? I haven't needed my help in years. So whatever it is, it can wait. Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? You're gone more than you're here. Whatever happened to loving husband and father? Stop nagging at me, Alexis. Ahem. So you're the new guy. <laughs> I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes our way. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Thanks, Horatio. I love it. Yes. I didn't think I'd ever make it in with the hours I've been working. Nah, but you did. And now you look completely refreshed. Just remember, a couple months and you come back and see me. No, you're oh. whipping up a new batch of pies today. I heard Alexis promise one to Erin, and I know how you hate to disappoint the little ones. Marcus William Somerset. Oh, don't you go on thinking you're so clever. Huh? Those pies are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Maybe I'm just skeptical because this is Fallout, but there's something real off-putting about how well all this is going. I realized my wife was so cold-blooded. The work never ends in Vault 81. Stay out of trouble. That goes for both of you. Take time to look around. You'll have the full run of the place. Overseer. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. Forsyth, huh? That, that name's really familiar. Who do I gotta kill to get a goddamn Vault 81 suit? Jesus fuck. They have like literally one per person and they just do a lot of laundry. If you haven't already, uh. you should stop by the classroom. Katie would love to have you speak to her students. That's it. Mm -hmm. Nothing interesting there. Vent has been leaking. Need to investigate Shaft for integrity. May need a full... To replace bad section. But hopefully you can get by with a new patch job. 
pipes are suffering from corrosion, needs welding and sealing sections of flooring may need to be replaced. We'll take a closer look behind the scenes to investigate the extent of the damage. Steel must be given way for concrete bases. Water is building up among the wiring and the floor. Need to find a solution for resealing and water removal. Repairs, repairs, repairs. One more thing in this vault breaks, I'm going to scream. And by scream, I mean angrily slam the keys to this ter terminal. As I enter yet another frustrated log, no one told me that I took over a job for Overseer that bat that I was inheriting a sinking ship. From what Calvin tells me, the damage isn't even coming from us in our everyday lives. It's something external, and of course, since it's external, it's harder for him to assess the overall damage. Can't very well just unbury the vault. On the good side, reactors continue to run without a hitch. Two centuries and not a single incident that old Rusty couldn't handle. And while the walls around us crumble, at least we'll have good lighting to witness it. Once again, I've heard a citizen telling one of the traders how much we don't need them. What is wrong with these people? Holt, Miranda, don't they realize that without these traders we'd be starving? We wouldn't have half the items we need to get the repairs done around here. I get the f I get the fear to allow outsiders in. I was terrified when we first opened the vault, but after two centuries of isolation, you'd think after ten years people would be more accepting and trust the faces we've grown to know so well. Some people still don't accept Horatio. The man's lived with us for years now. And sure, I don't know what could happen in the future. Maybe it's just a matter of time before allowing the wrong person in. But it's a chance we have to take, and a change they need to accept if we're going to survive for another generation. How hard can it be to catch Bobby DeLuca doing drugs? The vault is only so big. There's only so many places he can hide, and yet I am complaining of getting another complaint about his little habit. It's frustrating on so many levels. Everyone's working hard around the clock, and there's Bobby. Sleeps on the job, a job that he can't even do, by the way. He gets old rusty to do everything. It's not high, he's drunk. His sister backs up every story he comes up with. The list goes on. Part of me just wants to lock him up, post guard, and be done with it. Let him suffer through the withdrawal as his punishment. We all know he deserves it. Priscilla has informed me that she lost the latest carrot crop. I wish we had the space to do more consistent rotations. On the bright side, while we'll miss the carrots now, we'll be even happier once they're back. We'll never forget the day when Maria made her first Brahmin meat pie. I thought it was in heaven, and I'd never eat another steak in a box again. Against Dr. Forsythe's wishes, I might add. It wasn't long before I had my fill and found myself enjoying that same old Salisbury steak. On the bright side, Maria's mutt fruit pies are consistently good, although it's hard to go wrong when it comes to dessert. It helps that she probably that she likes to save them for special occasions. Probably uh, smart on her part. She's been the chef long enough to know e how easily taste buds give out on us. Huh. He's not very observant. Mm -hmm. Neat. All right, let's check out some other stuff. I don't recall running into a classroom or a science lab. I swear, it's something new every Just day. Just fucking move. Jesus, you fat sack. Need to check the Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Oh, this is just a community shitter. Oh, I don't think I went in here. This strain is doing quite well. Hey there. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. Hmm. Gonna need more fertilizer soon. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Kinda weird how they don't care if I just harvest all their shit. Excuse me, Dr. Penske. Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. Uh, sure. I like fruit. Excellent. <laughs> just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter? Fresh. What fruit? Uh, pardon me, Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, oh, this sounds I'd be like more a than happy to endless filler quest. Your efforts. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Surely I have some on me. Dr. Penske, 
Those Unless I'm storing it all somewhere. I can't seem to get the potatoes right. Oh dear, I seem to have misplaced one of my instruments. Jesus, do I turn them in here or something? No. Oh, these are all sciency jargons about food. Where could it be? Hmm. Hybridization. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. You've got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Not that they could. This was a surprisingly uneventful vault. Honestly. McCready! Thanks for meeting you here. Watch yourself. No. Can't stab me. Wait a minute, I already did all this. I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. I got one wait now. I got two words from what I expect out of you. Vault suit. Fuck. Where's that go? That must be the reactor. If you're looking to do some trading, look for the depot. Alexis has just about anything you could need. I don't think I ran into Tina, did I? Another outsider? What they let you in for? Just taking a look around. Is the overseer just letting anyone in these days? I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. Mm. So you're the reason that patrols are doubled today. That means it's easy living. Why are there no fucking vault suits? Neil. Excuse me. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat. But with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Hard work pays off. And you guys are maintaining the vault, right? Trying to, at least. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you. And I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. I feel like there's a large chunk of things going on here that I can't figure out what to do. Where's the terminal that opens up that goddamn elevator? Hmm. Where's the terminal? Somewhere. Huh. Can't close it. Watch yourself. Let me just do a quick look, see. Oops. Apparently, I can find that cat that we heard that one lady talking about. They're like, Aaron, Aaron's not gonna be happy about this when we came in. Which leads us to another quest called Hole in the Wall. I need to find the classroom, I guess. Classroom. Your huh? here oh, I like did not go this direction. We'll be keeping a close eye on him. This is different. The Commonwealth sounds so exciting and dangerous. Whoa! A real 
real live Commonwealth person. You dress funny. Hey. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Yeah, you could say that. I've had a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about anything you've done out in the Commonwealth. Would you mind talking to them and sharing one of your experiences? I suppose I can tell them a few. I won't let them take up too much of your time. Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? How do you know about Deathclaws? I hear stuff. Gran heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. Deathclaws are very dangerous. It was a tough fight. How did you beat it? Hmm. A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the Death Claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. One shot in each eye and one in the forehead took care of that death claw. Wow. You must be a good shot. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Neat. I Pretty cool. Wish my mom and dad wouldn't fight so much. Oh. I could kill your dad. <laughs> He sounds like a douche anyway. It'd be, you'd get over it. The actor. Well, 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 well. Don't mind if I do. Just take a look down here. Ooh. Is this Curie? Please direct no. any maintenance requests to Mr. Toluca. They will be handled in the order they... So I think there's actually a companion you can get here named Curie. No trading going on down here. And just look around. Just taking a look around. Well, only the old generators to see down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? Can't help you there. Damn. Well, if you change your mind or start feeling charitable, look me up. Just <laughs> don't let Tina know. She's, She's literally the right there. Hey, outsider. Do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. All right. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. He's right there. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his use of ass. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy, I feel better, done. That it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. Good. 
That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Hey man, you got any more jet on you? I never had any. Fuck off. Fucking cock weasel. Get away from me. Lol. BS. Wow. Nice little touches there. Series 2 sweet terminal. We'd like to thank you for accepting this your new role as Overseer Vault 81. This program, as you know, represents a critical research opportunity. The work we do together will lead to a better future for humanity, not only in these times of uncertainty, but far into the future. Whatever it holds, your background in academic and applied medical research will make you a capable leader to Vault 81 science staff, and your administrative background gives you the unique ability to lead and manage the general population as well. Thank you again for reconsidering this offer of employment, and good luck. Here we go. Mission of Vault 81 is to research infectious diseases and antibodies, with particular attention paid to potential mutations in a climate of heavy radiation. Clinical trials are a vital part of 81's mission. Trials will be performed in three stages. Stage 1 trials are to be conducted in petri dish cultures. Stage 2 trials are to be performed in a colony of heterocephalus glaber speci glaber? specimens furnished by vault -Tec. Stage 3 trials may be performed on the residential population of Vault 81. Scientific staff will be restricted to the hermetically sealed research area. This measure reduces chances of cross-contamination between residential and scientific staff populations. The overseer will have communication capabilities, but no other members of the residential population are to be made aware of the Prime Directive. As outlined in Vault Tech Operations Handbook, all staff members of 81 will be required to participate in mandatory drills. Held on site at the discretion of the Overseer and Vault Tech Administration, admissive drills are a requirement on all beta alert days, as indicated by Vault Tech Early Warning System. In the event of an actual alpha alert, Vault 81 residents will be admitted into the vault by Overseer staff. All scientific staff should report to their workstations immediately, avoiding contact with the general population, especially those whom they may know personally. If necessary, Overseer should remind staff of their confidentiality status. Eh, that's not interesting at all. Overseer's private logs. I can't believe it. vault -Tec must really have been desperate for an Overseer candidate after Duncan fell ill. I'm certainly qualified for this job, but with my politics, how could they think I'm a good candidate for this kind of program? Maybe there's some more to this that I'm seeing. They still haven't given me the full briefing on the work we'll be doing here, and I'm not stupid. I'm pretty sure it's going to involve human trials. I won't jump to any conclusions, though. Let's see how this plays out. If they're crossing any ethics lines with me, they'll be in a congressional hearing before they know what's hit them. These researchers are willing to put, with a, put up with a lot. Today is our fifth drill of the week, and this time I had to make the calls in the middle of the night. Half these scientists are just kids. Between cramming for finals and sleeping off Friday hangovers, I'm shocked many of them are stagger, staggered in as they did. I guess the pay is worth it. I know I wasn't earning the kind of money as a grad student. It's much worse than bah, it's much worse than I thought. I was finally given my full briefing today. Not only is Vault Tech asking us to do clinical trials on humans, they've got some serious backers in government. I just can't blow the whistle on this. I've seen the administrate admis admission roster. There are good people planning to live in Vault 81, and I have little doubt the vaults will come into use eventually. I won't reward the trust of these people by treating them like guinea pigs. I feel trapped. I don't know what to do. It's done. I got the call early this morning. Another beta drill. Always Rosario who has to call. Her voice was trembling, and she couldn't get off the phone soon enough. She knew, sure enough, the warning was upgraded within a few hours. The news reporting confirmed launches soon after that. I made a decision to deliberately sabotage the phone list. Such a simple thing, but it meant that none of the science staff received a notification about the drill. Residents are already beginning to show up, and we'll have our hands busy admitting everyone. I'm no criminal mastermind. Clearing the phone list prevented most of the science staff from showing up, but three still made it in. Clinton Collins are both my age and live in the fence. They had time to get here with the general population. Bro was just an overachiever and came in by the morning to just see if they would be a drill today. Figures. <laughs> they reported to the research area. The vault protocols engaged automatically and sealed them in. They're already busy with their work, especially since there are only three of them. Bro and Flint are getting restless in there. Collins and that robot is calling her Kiri now. Ooh, Kiri, that's, that's the companion. Are now keeping the mood relatively steady, but I think they already suspect that I have no intention of allowing them to implement stage three trial. Not sure what to do. They've got access to delivery nozzles. If they choose to, they'll be able to infect the population with whatever they want. Need to keep them calm. 
I've made a grim choice. I sabotaged the delivery nozzles and all the resident quarters as soon as I was able. Didn't expect Bro to notice so soon. Hell, I didn't expect Collins to get so close to phase 3 trial so quickly. Didn't expect half of what's happened in the past few months. Cutting off communications is a cowardly thing to do, but what options do I have? I'll have food and water in there as long as they need. I just can't let them go through with human trials for God knows what vault tech plans to do with their research. I only hope that somehow they can forgive me and live out their lives in peace over there. Wow. So this vault just failed, like, entirely. They aborted their plans. Okay. Overseer, there are just three of us over here. What's going on? Olivette, are you getting this? Sorry, Kevin, it's been a madhouse on this side. Only three, myself, Jim Flint, and that kid. Where's everyone else? Not over here. Residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. That's the same way I heard. You think vault Tech would have enough warning to call at least a beta drill for the staff this morning? Something must have gone wrong. We've been pretty limited down here. We've been focused on antibiotics and have our first Petri trials underway. I saw the data last night. It's promising. What do you think? It's ready? Trials have started and the virus we're going after is a few days of inoculation. I'm optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. Okay, keep me posted. Don't begin phase two trials and have an opportunity to go through the new data. Of course, have a good afternoon, Overseer. Overseer, do you have a minute? The system isn't instantaneous, Barrow. I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Sorry, Overseer, I wanted to notify you about an issue with our new food extruder. Okay, I see it now. Looks like a clog in the protein tank. You weren't able to address it on your end? No, Overseer, hardware failures on the residential side must be addressed over there. We can't get the tanks or nozzles to repair them. Okay, Barrow, I'll have maintenance down there immediately. Go stand by and have Collins contact me if there's still issues in about 10 minutes, okay? Thank you, Overseer, I'll go there now. Good news, Dr. Olivet. We've tweaked the formula based on Phase 1 trial results, and I think we're about to go with Phase 2. How's the mole rat population doing? Very well. Specimens of all tech procedure are remarkably hardy. Bah, remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Is that in the protocols? Not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff with how the kibble provided for them. Bro got pretty sick for a day or two, don't ask. Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic. Tampered with? Something like that. I think Vault Tech must have been running some experiments with them. They're all unusually large. Few demonstrate bioluminescence. At least one appears more intelligent than normal. Do you think they're still useful to uh, a useful control? We've divided the colony, separated the most unusual specimens, put the control colony in a new diet taken from our own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Very well. Give me the evening to go over the data again. I think we're clear to begin phase two, unless I find anything I don't expect. Overseer, yes, bro. What is it? I've noticed that the issue with their delivery mechanisms. You know if anyone is tampered with the nozzles in the residential quarters on your side? I don't know. What are you doing with the delivery system anyway? Phase 2 trial just began. I know, Overseer. I just thought it would be a good idea to run tests on the delivery system before we reach Phase 3. We reach Phase 3, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of tests are you hoping to run anyway? Just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles are dispensing the mist properly. The residents wouldn't even know we'd done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. I'll look into the nozzle issues on my own, bro. In the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval. Doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Performing the Phase 3 trial on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. I can keep bro together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some sort of actual response from you. Damn it, Olivia. You can't be such a hypocrite that you condemn us to die in the name of your professional sense of morality. I know politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please reconsider this. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Are all the vault tech suits? All these dresses are empty. This is weird.
greedy likes that I steal, really. Helping this motherfucker get clean. Why do they even have Jet here? It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. Damn oh, it. That's that way. Okay, so what's downstairs? Is it just more living quarters? This is medical. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just a blood sample? Sure, you can have some Whoa. blood. Why am I invisible? Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Stop it. Please. There we go. Seat? Sit there. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Hey. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Eh. Just looking for a vault tech suit, lady. Maybe more random quests, you know. Nothing. If you get sick or injured, go to Rachel. I heard we had a traitor in the Shut up about it. Careful, outsider. What the fuck is this cat? Oh, she's outside the vault. I have to talk to the girl in the classroom to find the cat. God. Oh, she's not in the classroom right now. Oh my god. Where'd she go? My you? dad said Super Aaron? eat kids for breakfast. But I think he's just trying to scare me. I wish my mom was confused. No, Super Mutants will literally eat you for breakfast. Alright, fuck it. Nah, I don't need to wait. Oh, I'm gonna go back to the main area. Seeds. I need more seeds. I'm sure you do. It must be rough living out there. That's fine. I'll be damned if that whole duck isn't gonna need replaced. Probably. Did your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. Nope. Watch out for the maintenance. Hey, the there you are. Well, hello. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? How much would you pay? <laughs> I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Oh, I can't fast travel out. Bullshit. I swear the elevator panel's usually on the right. Being on the left here throws me off. Bing, 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 bing,
Dr. Forsythe and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up, I can... Gonna need that stuff anyway. Got it. <laughs> Work never ends in Hulk <laughs> I'll be back. By your good graces, I shall return. Look at this place. You, your gun load. There we go. was not solid. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. What the fuck? Cats don't behave that way. Also, what is it doing? Is it gonna go? I think it's trying to go home. <laughs> okay. Yep, there it goes. Nah, I don't want to fast travel. That might just take longer to load than running there would. Look at this weird ass running animation. It's kind of floating along, it feels like. near the reactor room. I'd steer it. Austin got himself bit by a mole rat. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. Ashes! It's ridiculous. You found him. Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Just gives me a fusion core Daddy. without saying anything. That's weird. I was so worried about you. And I uh, bet okay. Mom's gonna make me give you a bath. <sighs> 
what I wouldn't give for some real time off. What is she doing? There? I don't know about you, but I can't stand to see any of those. Hey, oh, holy shit, there's no window there. You, you're back. I'm not sure if you've spoken to Dr. Forsyth yet, but if you haven't, we really need your help. One of the children here is very ill. He's been bitten by some creature, and we need someone with good combat training to help him. Someone who knows the creatures of the Commonwealth. I'd like for you to please speak to Dr. Forsyth. He can give you the details. I'll go see him immediately. Thank you. Dr. Forsyth should be in the medical center. All right. If you want to go that over here. We need your help. Somebody's been shot in the back of the head. <laughs> we couldn't find who did it. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running. I feel like this kid's supposed to be laying in bed. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bob. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsyth, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I'll do it. For Austin. You have a good... What a fucking... Bobby here will show you ridiculous where... Ridiculous thing to say. Smash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. She's not even looking for at Austin's me. for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Maybe after this, Bobby will finally listen to me and both get the hell out of here. Please direct any mate. Where is it, Bobby? Here, there you are. Mole rat breeders who finally got at the breeding program stabilized. As earlier reports indicated, the mole rats show unusual degrees of aggression in captivity. This may be due to the growth of hormones. Recent generations seem more docile, although some of the keepers are complaining that the lab animals are watching them, which is preposterous. We have created 197 distinct serums that can treat 36% of known viruses. This is a modest improvement from last year's 33% treatment rate. However, 11 of the serums account for 61% of the treatment results, which is encouraging. This time, only 19% of the serums have potential to be mass-produced, which we test our latest robot lab assistant to find ways to synthesize more of them efficiently. Hmm. Lab assistant? Curie? Oh my gosh, 
They're always locked. Got it. Full of garbage. Where the fuck are the mole rats? Maybe I should put this on my cracked quests. I got a handy dandy direction thingy to point me in the right direction. Um, got the feeling he was supposed to be burrowed. Really, more will pop up any moment now. Where the fuck are they? Where is like. What are you burrowing up here? I don't think you understand how dirt works. There's fuck. What? How? How are they burrowing here? I'm sure this whole thing is overblown, and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Oh, that's pretty Why damn him? creepy. He's just a boy. He's I going no to be idea just they were being watched. You'll see. Wow. Wait a minute. This isn't the part where the science facilities were? This is where medical observation. Understood. So where Vault Tech no watched buts. the vault. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yeah. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. And let's hope that outsider pulls through. Oh. So I think past the security gates were vault tech employee? I don't know. I don't imagine the science staff had access to watch the overseer while they killed them. Essentially. <laughs> this 
Oh, these are all... Those are all the messages. This is the other... This is the computer that was sending those messages earlier. Okay. Oh, that's just a password. Not a... Sound. Anyway. Wink. Get, get over there! Ah, ah, there we go. Curie! That's her! Him? I don't know. I didn't read too much about them, just that a lot of people like them. It's stuck. Oh, another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you vault Tech Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner <laughs> of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got the chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never saw oh, the damn. chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the Vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault Tech Security? Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure <laughs> was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. vault is gone. No need to follow their rules anymore. Gone? Truly? My programming doesn't cover this contingency. Please tell me the authority to release me was transferred to you. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Oh, we already read that earlier. Since you are a Vault Tech representative, I entrust you. Dr. Burroughs' deceased postmortem indicates he expired from a severe cardiac, severe cardiac arrest brought on by advanced age. He died at 5.01 a.m. shortly after waking. In accordance with the doctor's pre-existing orders, the body was cremated and placed in the specified urn alongside Dr. Collins and Flint. Dr. Bro was a great assistant in continuing the work left by us by the left to us by the others. My last order was to continue working on our projects alone so that our deaths may not be in vain. My process processes are fully committed to furthering the study of pathogens and viruses for the betterment of mankind. Wow. Oh. Interesting. Well, they modified a Mr. Handy when they realized they were stuck here. Huh. The broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised. There is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. If 
Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. I would request we travel extensively and collect data. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Is that your pip boy? Oh my god, fuck it off. Welcome back. Nice to see the Commonwealth. An incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. <gasps> the cure, you found it. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. <laughs> He's sleeping like a baby. Right in the ass. <laughs> this shouldn't be long. Oh god, oh, oh. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for a friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For no. my part, I'd like to give you the surrender. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place Neat. you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I hope uh, you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. Lives. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, <laughs> including my own. I had no idea of the dangerous vault tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. What do you know about vault tech? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault, for the walls that protected us over two centuries. But not once have I had contact with them. vault was a corrupt corporation. They got just what they deserved down there. From what I've seen, I believe you. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system. And without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses, or bacteria, it is quite dull. 
Medically speaking, the world out there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude. But I must ask, please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Later, McCready. Nice. And that's Vault 81. Didn't seem like much at first. Glad to see everybody wasn't fucking crazy. They actually were the opposite. The only sane vault I've ever been to in any of the games. Alright, next time.